And here in French Guyana, the countdown is on for Europe's most important rocket launch to date, Destination Jupiter. I'll have all the details of that and the UK weather here on Good Morning Britain. French Guiana. In... She's been bouncing around like a little space ball for the whole of this week. Honestly, Laura, I've been loving your updates on social media as well. Uh, you, uh, have you ever been more excited about life? If I had my way, we would fill the entire programme with everything that I know and have learned on this admission. But don't worry, that's not going to happen. But we have just been given unprecedented access. We are now at the control room here in French Guyana. This is Europe's spaceport for their mission that is the JUICE mission, heading a rocket to Jupiter and the icy moons. There's lots of excitement from me, but inside this control room, there's a lot of 10 hours time. We get our very first important weather forecast telling us whether we can give the rocket its fuel that it needs for its mission. So that is something that we're going to be watching for this very precise mission to Jupiter. He is the mission director. He is in the control room behind me. At the moment, we are good for launch, but the weather forecast is definitely a key player. So here's the details for here in French Guyana and the UK. Well, at the moment, there are shower clouds building, but they are hopeful for the launch itself, which local time is 9.15, that we will have thunderstorms far enough away and winds away from the launch pad, that the weather should keep it go for launch, but it is hot and humid. Weather-wise for the UK, thankfully, the stormy conditions that we had yesterday have now cleared away. We had strong gusts of wind. The Isle of Wight had such a strong gust of wind. It potentially is the highest gust that England has ever recorded in April. That is one that we're set to verify later. But today is one of sunshine and showers. The showers will be heaviest and most frequent across the north of the UK. So Scotland, Northern Ireland, northern areas of England, sunny skies, and then a shower comes through, some of them heavy with hail and thunder. Further south for central and southern areas of England and Wales, isolated showers, there'll be light, but some decent spells of sunshine and warmer than it was yesterday, temperatures in the mid-teens. The outlook is for this evening and overnight, the showers to fade away, but then turning wetter and windier from the southwest later. Good morning to you. I am in French Guiana at Europe Spaceport, ahead of a mission that is heading to Jupiter later on today. Liftoff is hoping to be 1.15. Can I just say, behind me is the control room. We've been watching all of the monitors very closely. It went red briefly, but everything is at the moment back to green. We are currently go for launch, but it's in around about T minus six hours and 16 minutes. Now, weather-wise for the UK, we had the storms yesterday. The storm has now cleared away. The strong gusty winds have also eased. And today is a much better outlook. It's one of sunshine and showers, April showers, doing what it should be for the time of year. Heaviest and most frequent across the north. So at the moment, we're forecasting basically anywhere north of the Midlands, Scotland, Northern Ireland, northern areas of England, the North Midlands, heavy, frequent showers, hail, thunder, certainly a possibility in between some sunshine, but gusty winds picking up as those showers move through and top temperatures in the north today. May Maybe 11 or 12 degrees. Further south, though, drier, brighter conditions, more in the way of sunshine, isolated showers at the very most, and feeling much warmer than it was yesterday. Top temperatures in the south are around about 15 degrees. The outlook is changing. Let's take a see how things are looking as we head through the next seven days. So Pun intended. <laughs> Laura Tobin's at the launch in French Guiana in South America. And JUICE is such a great acronym. It is the Jupiter Icy Moon Explorer. This is so cool. The science that they are using, for some of it has never been done before. There's lots of excitement. There's lots of emotion behind me. We are here in the control room. This is the Jupiter suite. There's also lots of tension as well. Many people have been working on this mission for over 10 years. And in T minus five hours, 19 minutes and 24 seconds, at the moment, we are currently still green for go for liftoff. So, yes, the mission will be taking off UK time, 1.15. What happens next? Well, here's what's very important. 26 minutes after launch, the spacecraft will separate. Then 32 minutes off, it uses some incredible science and it even uses the gravitational pull of Earth multiple times to get on its six billion mile kilometer journey to Jupiter. Now I'm joined by a very special lady. She's a Brit, she's a woman, she's a scientist. We're here with Professor Carol Mundell. You are the Director of Science for the European Space Agency, an incredible title. Tell us about how the Jupiter rocket is going to get all the way there. 
for this mission as well. There are indeed, and one of the first firsts is actually the swing the swing shot through the Earth Moon system. Yes. Uh, once we get when we get there, what are we going to be looking at, and why? What do we hope to find? So the really big question we're trying to answer with this mission is whether these moons of Jupiter could support life. So are they habitable in the science, not just of the moons themselves, to find out whether we have salty oceans there and what the salty oceans are like, how deep they are, whether the crusts are solid, whether they're floating like icebergs. Our universe. What is your latest messages from the guys inside here? Are we going for launch? So, so far we're going to back. Five minutes time, that is going up. So here's the all important weather forecast. Well, we had showers moving through the spaceport just around about half an hour ago, but they're not big enough to worry about, and we still have over five hours to go, so that is one they're going to continue to monitor. But at the moment, they are happy with the weather forecast. Closer to home, we're much happier after the storm that we had yesterday, giving potentially one of the strongest gusts of wind we've ever recorded in England in April. That's now cleared away. So today is one of bright breezy conditions, sunshine and showers, some of those heavy and also thundery. At the moment, the most frequent showers across the north of the UK. So Scotland, Northern Ireland, Northern areas of England, the North Midlands, heavy frequent showers, hail and thunder in between some decent spells of sunshine. For the south of the UK, lots of sunshine, plenty of blue skies, maybe an isolated shower, breezy, but much drier, brighter and warmer than it was yesterday with top temperatures into the mid-teens. Tonight, a chilly one, particularly in the north with clear skies, but in the south it clouds over. A very different day tomorrow, cloudy, dull, damp and cooler in the south.